Hi graduates, it's Stella from Beeple University and this is Stella's short and sweet preview for Huang from Phalanx. I am so prepared for the endless war between the states. Bring on the war, the revolt. Let's deploy our best leaders to unite those states. No one's left behind. Long live the Qin Dynasty! The game plays 2 to 4 players with mechanics such as tile placement, highest lowest scoring, and area influence. The game is of medium complexity. In Huang, players play as different dynasties, placing their tiles and 5 leaders on the board, trying to win by working on their 5 different colored point categories because the lowest one is their final score. On your turn, you do any two actions from the five types available. Mostly, you will be placing a tile from your hand or place or move one of your leaders. Together, players are building states, which are connected areas of tiles and leaders and establishing those lovely points generating pagodas in those areas by making triangles of tiles. Your leader gains a point every end of turn for each matching pagoda in its state and for each matching tile at the moment it is placed into its state, regardless of who places it. The point gain matches the color of the tile, so you will want to carefully contribute to the state which benefit your own leaders the most because everything is open for the taking. And usually, it's not that easy to outsmart your opponents. Each state only has room for one leader of each color. Otherwise, there is conflict. If you add a conflicting leader to a state, there is a revolt. Players count adjacent yellow tiles, then may optionally add yellow tiles by discarding from hand, and whoever beats the most displaces the other leader. Get out of my state, you, you other rat leader! No, you get out. I was here first. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah! If you join states together with a tile and therefore put the same color leaders in conflict, there is war. Each state counts its red soldier tiles, with players allowed to discard red tiles from hand to the combat. The state with the most strength displaces leaders from the other and both states lose soldiers equal to the loser's strength, potentially changing the map and opportunities on the landscape. There are a few other options, restrictions and actions. Like blue farm tiles can only be placed on the river space because farming needs to be close to water, right? but you can place as many as you want on a turn. Blue tiles can also be spent from hand to remove a tile from the board. Can't split a state in two though. Green trader tiles are replaced in your hand from the face up market rather than the bag. Just like trading, giving flexibility. Game ends when no tiles are left in the bag. Players count all of their different colored points, with white points treated as wild and able to count as any other. Your lowest out of red, blue, yellow and green is your final score and whoever has the most points has led the most powerful dynasty to victory. Hurrah! See, told ya, no one's left behind. Well, not that you have any choice anyway. Ha! You gotta constantly look at which color needs helping sometimes by abandoning a particular leader perhaps, if you have lots of points already for it. It's all just the usual war casualty, right? Your artisan yellow leader on the board, being the jack of all trades and all, generates you points in other colors, if matching color leader is absent. While if they are not yet placed, is adding plus one strength to your other leader in revolt. Other leaders would also give you some special benefits. This Rhino Nitsia game has a bit of rhythm history. 
Huang is the re-themed release of 2018 game Yellow and Yangtze, which was itself a redevelopment of the classic Tigris and Euphrates. Now, after over 25 years since this well-loved game is launched, you'll be able to enjoy its updated graphic design and components while continuing on fighting for your dynasty. So thanks for watching, folks. Check out Huang project page. I'll put the link in the description below. The components featured in this video are prototype, so rules and artwork may not be final. You would help us by like the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and comments below if you want me to make more of these videos, or if you have any questions. I also share my board games journey on Instagram. Hopefully, I will see you there too. See you next time.